these pearl dolphins are something I get a lot of questions about, and considering how simple they are to make, I thought that they were the perfect subject for my first video. So allow me to show you how I make them with just three simple tools. This is a 220 grit flap sander. Now that the brown outer husk has been removed, you can really see what kind of color you have to work with. But before we start shaping, it's going to need a good hand sanding, because any scratches that are left over will be highlighted by the buffing process. So to make sure all of those scratches from the flap sander are gone, I'm going to wet sand the shell with 600 grit sandpaper, then move up to 1000 grit, and finish up with 2000 grit, which will leave it with a really slight polish and allow the color to show even more. As you can see, the sanding brought out some more color, as well as gave it a dull luster, which means it is in the correct state to accept a buffer. You can actually buff the shell now and call it good if all you want is a nicely polished shell, but I'm going to go a step farther with it. I'm only using a manatee and a dolphin as an example, but this is an extremely flexible way to carve shells, so you can really make anything that you can think of. Uh, you can also use a wide variety of shells using this process. The manatee that I'm showing here is one of the mussels that I used earlier in the video, but this dolphin is actually carved from abalone. I've also used lucine as well in the past. And you can do literally all of the shaping with just a single tool. This is a diamond coated cutoff wheel, and it is all you're going to need to do literally all of the shaping.
I know how big the dolphin is, I can go back and do the tail, and doing this last really keeps everything a nice and uniform size. Now that the shaping is done with, we can go back and buff it. Using this manatee I made as an example, you can see that we can buff the dolphin much higher. And to do that, I'm going to use a buffing wheel and a product called Red Rouge, which is essentially wax with a very fine abrasive. To use it, I just turn on my Dremel and touch the spinning buffing wheel to the rouge, causing it to melt and coat the buffing wheel entirely. And here it is. From here you could drill it to make a necklace or earrings if you made the carving a bit smaller, but it is a very simple process that leaves you with many options. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll have another video out soon.